this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. When the church, when the people come and ask the church, the leaders of the church or whatever, hey, uh, uh, help me deal with this, this, this. And I'm going to go all the way back when the stamp, the book I call it Stamp from the Beginning, Brother Jackson. I don't know if you heard that book or not, but it's called Stamp from the Beginning. Stamp? It's, it's called Stamp. S-T-A-M-P, gotcha. Yeah. From the Beginning. Yes, okay. All right, and it goes all the way back from when the Portuguese were were doing human trafficking to to to, to start the slave trade, the, the mm -hmm. exportation going into Africa for all its resources and mm -hmm. resources, the gold, the, the minerals, and the people, mm -hmm. and bringing those people to to Europe throughout the whole world as labor force free labor force and and they use the scriptures to justify uh the, the, the they went to the church as one of the means to justify its behavior to justify slavery uh yes. use it to try to uh try to 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 one of, one of the ones they use i think i mentioned last week they're using they're trying to say the, the, the black race was all cursed by by in the Bible by Noah, and, and all this is just a curse. Um, they, to and then and to the bad thing about it is, the, the, when we as people look at our leadership and 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 depend on them to interpret the scriptures. Uh, it's just an indictment on our own part because the Bible said to study show yourself approved unto God. And if you read the scriptures, I'm just going to use that one because that's one of the ones I, what I'm thinking about doing is going through all the different um, edicts or, or interpretations that they use through history okay. to justify a lot of this stuff with junk. Um, the one and one that came over first was talking about. Ham saying that Ham was um, was Ham was cursed, and all his descendants that are, are cursed because of Ham. And and if you read the scripture, we did that a few weeks ago. Ham was not cursed. That and I didn't bring that up. I didn't make that up, right? We talked about it, right? I didn't make that up. It's, okay. it, it says, "Curse be Cana, not not Ham." And mm -hmm. Ham had more than Cana. Ham had a whole bunch of other children. And some of those children that, that, that were descended from Egypt and everything else. But you're going to sit there and, and you, whoever wrote that, and that's why I'm going to bring that, that book and, and, and those type of writing and then say, you, whoever, and God bless you because God is, you, you probably, you. Whoever you are, whoever you were, there was quite a few, but they uh, they get they get names of the people who published those type of uh, instructions or guidance, and it, they they printed it and sent it throughout the whole world for these people to justify their atrocities. Yeah, Darwinism. Um, Darwin is another one. They try to use that and they try to say it's subhuman. And, 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 and it's, it's ironic though, this book goes all the way from, I guess, 1200s or something like that, all the way up to 2020. And it, and, I'm, and it's amazing that some of the same rhetoric that started up those years ago, yeah, those rhetoric is, is today. Mm -hmm. Some of the some of the people still using that rhetoric today. And, huh? None of it applies to Christianity. That that was a, the whole thing. Even if they used that rhetoric, it didn't line up with Christianity. Um, and that that in itself is is, is that is not a debatable. It, it, it's, it's it's obvious. Even without all the evidence, 
what they did did not align up with Christianity. The way that the country was conquered did not align up with Christianity. Exactly. The purpose of the kingdom of God was supposed to be through the propagation of the gospel, not by a sword. Right. Well, and when you look at the origin of the Bible was in an area where people were of color. So it, their whole premise didn't make any sense. No. None of it. No. None of it. It was it was almost like, okay, we're gonna steal this and profit from it. And, and just so the script is right. Yeah. So it it, it it blows my mind even to the point of these young brothers and sisters now claim the Bible to be the white man's Bible. Right. You know, and I'm like, how could you say that when you look on the map and see where these places are that the Bible is talking about? Right. You know, if you, 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 you point that out and they, they don't even have a comeback about it. No. And but yet they'll still say that this is the white man's Bible used to enslave black people. Well, it was the black man's Bible used to enslave black people. It was just the Bible, you know, by 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 Europeans. So it's there's got to be truth, and and everything that we say, it 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 has weight to yeah. it. Yeah. You know, so there there's a clarity that needs to be said and we got to make sure that the words that are being used are precise. I mean, you look at the Bible, you have to even the interpretations, you have to go back to the original yeah. text and meaning. You gotta look up the time and what were the customs and courtesies during those times to actually understand what these words actually mean. Otherwise, you take them out of content, and the, the 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 meaning is pretty much gone. And that's just on a a uh, physical uh, uh, how can I put it uh, 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 a soul yeah. level. But then there is the spirit <clears throat> of the word. Yeah. That, that's a whole nother understanding. So the things that are, are, are used and said in this Bible, you know, uh, it's not just people who are trying to hold folks uh, captive and use them to, to abuse them as slaves. There's people in the pulpit that are doing the same thing. Today. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. taking these scriptures out of content and, uh, and using them to benefit their agenda. Exactly. And, and I, I think this is where discipling people to Christ is so essential. Because if Christ is not the center of if not our focus of our teaching, is not the focus of our practices, then we're off. Yeah. And, 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 and the beauty of it is that we have him as an example of who he is. You know, say if I'm a disciple of Christ, I behave in accordance with his behavior. His behavior. Yes, sir. So you cannot call yourself, I mean, there's no there is no parallel between killing off Native Americans and Christ. There's no parallel between enslaving blacks and Christ. There's no parallel between jacking the economy up above the, the, the value of a human life and Christ. Exactly. So there's a lot that we, 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 God is so gracious that he gave us a living example, a visual, he said he is to manifest the image of the invisible God. He gave us Jesus to follow in our practices, in, our, in, in all things. Yeah, so we, 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 when we when we get off, we really get away from him. The yeah. only way to really get lost in, in Christianity is to, is, to, is to take Christ out of the Right. He and we've done that. Yeah. And he is the example, right? And the other thing he said, the good news is the gospel. So you can't... You know, if, if, it's not, if it's not good for the hearer, then you're not preaching the gospel. And I ain't talking about somebody justifying some bad to somebody else. I'm saying is, is the gospel is the freedom, the release of, of being saved for eternal salvation. It's talking about how we can live. Jesus, 
how he lived or how he walked with her is what we focus, focus on. You know, like even when a woman's caught in an act of adultery, the example is, yes, the law says that she's supposed to be stoned. My point is, since all of you are guilty of something, unless you're gonna stone your dog on self, you need to sit there and shut up, forgive this woman, and you explain to the woman, hey, go sin no more, but I'm not here to condemn you. I'm here to said. instruct you to, to, to do the right thing. I'm not endorsing your behavior, but I'm also saying is that the mercy and the grace that comes from God is, is, is represented in me. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing that goes with anybody else. So, you know, when we read that scripture, 2 Timothy 3.16, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God and it's probable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, and in righteousness. Amen. In other words, if, if it's not leading to a righteous outcome, then you have to reevaluate it to, to, to say, wait a minute, God, I need some more guidance on it because it's not leading to a righteousness, the right standing of God. I wanted to uh, show the next scripture if you don't mind. Yeah, and while you're pulling up the next scripture, the um, going back, to, I, I, I love what Brother Addison said. He talked about the, the context because it's it's so very true. But you know, when you, I, I pulled up uh, and looked at uh, Genesis three, you know, very first um, line there where it talks about how Satan is the most was the most subtle is the most uh, you know at the time he was the yeah. most subtle creature in the garden. Uh -huh. And so when, when all of that happened, we got to recognize, again, spiritually, all of this stuff is subtlety. And the fact that sometimes we look at what's happening here uh, just in the United States of America as, it, as if it's only happening to us. And that is not the case. You know, when we go back through history and we look at all, all this wrong that has been, been done, it is not just black people. It's people, period. Period. And... Uh, and so the, the, the way I see it, that's also one way how the devil makes things uh, so convoluted, right. you know, that we aren't even recognizing the big picture. And, but even if we don't have the skill set to recognize the big picture, right? Because we're so confused. The thing is, is having faith in, just like we just stated earlier, having faith in Jesus, doing things according to the will of the Father, how we are inspired, whether we have an entire book of the Bible or not. The thing is, is that 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 good news, if we hear it and we understand what love is about, it makes no never mind whether another person's black, white, and everything else in between. And again, we as Christians, uh, we have such an opportunity uh, to go against the grain, right? <laughs> okay, because right, right now it seems like, the, the, the you know, uh, you know how the word says, those who, who are doing all this ill will, why is it that they're profiting? Well, all we've got to do is stand up and, and do what we need to do, yeah. uh, I think. Now, we may be isolated uh, at times, but still do what we need to do. Um, right. And so, right. uh, and, and I'll be honest with you, I've, I've got, uh, uh, I'm kind of experiencing that now. I've got some folks that are a little, what I would say, close to me, not family-wise, but close to me who are, uh, uh, you, you can see how they're out of context, Brother Addison. You know, they're, they're, they're using scripture in one way, but, uh, but the, 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 they're applying it uh, incorrectly, you know, and, uh, and, and all I can do is pray for them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because so in other words, the, the applying, that's, and I think that's the key about the application of it. The application should equal love yes it's not showing love to your fellow look here let's, let's put it all the way it is toward your fellow man mm -hmm. if it's not implied love and when it's implied if it's if it's isolated if this if it's going to uh press if it's going to hurt somebody else that's not that's not the gospel and that's right what, like, that's what god is trying to say is that just like a woman wanted to be stoned, you know, all those people wanted to hurt that woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And God would say, wait a minute, wait a minute. How can you want to hurt somebody if you have not 
comply with the laws itself. Mm -hmm.